Hi everyone, I'm talking about Kogendo face powders today and I have several of them um, including the brand gifted me or I purchased myself so this is the one of the new one newest edition from their uh, powder line it's called Kogendo moisture powder which is um, the this color is brightening pink mainly focus this one newest one brightening pink along with their original line which is blurring beige it looks like this so definitely there's significant different color tone to it this one definitely has a radiant finish with um, more brightening effect whereas this blurring beige has the more silky um, setting powder like but they still has a radiant sheer finish but this one has more shimmery effect with radiance okay so this one and this one so both definitely has a silky finish I'll put it down blowing beige brightening pink but when you apply on the face it doesn't give you any white cast or anything it's pretty much undetectable so you don't have to worry about the the whiteness of the brightening pink but definitely has the more brightening um, radiant effect to it so if you're my skin tone I'm like um, light a light medium skin tone with yellow undertone you can definitely see this um, brightening pink under your eyes and um, all over your face probably would work better as a finishing powder but this one has definitely has more like blend in melt away in your skin um, effect so I used both with um, fluffy powder brush and swore into it and um, apply on my face and mainly I'm focusing this one with under eye area so definitely has a difference between these two and I just saw that Kogendo has added this holiday edition it's called the um, cashmere blend powder and it's this one has a compact and pressed powder form so the this side is perfect for the all over your face and this one is more um, brighter than this one which is like in a good for under eye both are super fine and milled powders and you can definitely swirl your brush into it or you can just use it separately whatever you like and this side this side so it's super fine it's really great powder but it just it's holiday edition one so i think they're discontinuing this powder pretty soon okay this is a kogendo face powder um my fancy face powder so it's their translucent setting powder for all skin type and because my size is a little smaller than any other powder packaging right now because it comes with the one of the si um, special edition set so mine is a little tinier than the other things but anyhow um so powder wise it's a it looks a white translucent powder which is you can see it's a great setting powder with you can make up you know you can set your makeup with it um without looking dry or too much on your face and super velvety like I said it's a translucent as you can see and it's super finely milled so I use the face powder but I don't hardly, barely use the, this um, powder puffs but when you're like put it on and tap it a little bit um, and then put it on your all over your face and it's a great setting powder for all skin type and i'm gonna quickly mention this my beloved natural lighting powder this one has definitely has more golden tone to it so it looks pretty dark than any other powders from togendo brand um, 
this definitely has the golden radiance and this is a perfect setting powder for me i use um this is my third jar um of the powder i purchase keep repurchasing myself um and keep it in my collection i use it all the time and this one definitely has the color to it but super nice um, setting powder for all over your face so if you're much paler and fair this one's too dark for you um, if you're like light medium undertone or medium undertone or maybe deeper than mine definitely you can you can use this one as a setting powder and perfect for all over your face and you will love it um, only thing is like you know since it has a color tone to it um, you might not um, liking if you're much paler than me and lastly we're talking about two different um, my fancy sheer loosen powder this is a loosen powder which is sold out on their cooking the website currently and this one is a moist powder it's more newer version of this one and this one definitely has more um, hydrating velvety finish whereas this one is perfect for like luminescent um, lightweight setting powder so this is a loosen this is a moist powder so there's a net inside so you can use the puffs like this it comes with it um, and i use the powder brush which is more fluffier natural hair brush i prefer and this one moist powder you can see hardly detect detectable on your skin and super finely milled and it's super velvety so i really love this powder which is like you know i have a semi mature skin so if you have a you know like concern of like oh i don't want to look dry on my skin like powder like finish definitely this one is go to for you I would recommend this powder to anyone who's have like dry skin with you don't like any like powdery finish definitely this one is great start and this loosen powder this one has a definitely has you can't really see it it's really melted into my skin so it's super velvety finish so i really like those both um, powders a lot but i prefer the moist powder sheer moist powder more for my dry sensitive skin so if you ask me if i can choose any top three kogendo powders um, i'll say this one natural lighting powder for for my skin tone um, like i said if you're lighter than me you probably wouldn't like um, and then moist powder sheer moist powder and the brightening pink which is i mean bl blurring base is really good too but brightening pink is just so unique this one has that luminescence into it and it just in instantly brightens up your complexion so you can use under eye you can use it as a finished powder i would say this one is one of the um the most innovative thing from Kogendo, it stands out more than any other powders currently I have. So thank you so much for um, tuning in.